We're Craig and Kirsty, a couple who got married in 2018, and instead of a honeymoon, we saved up to travel the world together. On the 1st of March 2020, we finally set off on our adventure. Two weeks later, and the world had other plans. As every border closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, international travel was stopped indefinitely as the world went into lockdown. We were lucky enough at this point to find ourselves in the wonderful country that is Estonia. Living on the edge of its capital city, Tallinn, we have been exploring and watching as this vibrant modern city slowly comes back to life. This may not look like the original adventure we had planned, but as full-time world travellers, you have to be adaptable and ready for whatever adventure comes your way. We really feel so thankful to be spending this unique period of time in such an incredible place. So each week, we share with all of you the incredible top sights of Tallinn as we explore. We have just left Kadriori Park and the Japanese gardens. It's just such a beautiful park and you can see that Tallinn have really invested in the natural side of things. Now we're heading over to Tallinn Festival Grounds. They've got what looks like a big stadium and we're gonna go and check that out. It's where they have huge music festivals and things. <laughs> So we've just crossed the road from the Japanese gardens in Kajiori Park over to the Tallinn Song Festival grounds. Every five years they have the, this huge song festival which they had just last year and they also have other concerts here um, throughout the year, different artists and musicians when they come over here this is the, the main venue. It's amazing, it looks out over and you can see the beach in the background, it's huge and it's all outdoors and slopes down towards the stage. The original stage was built in 1928 for the 9th Estonian Song Festival. The new current arch stage was built in 1959. Not only are these grounds spectacular to look at, they also have a special place in the hearts of Estonians, because it was right there in 1988 that Estonia's massive musical demonstration against Soviet rule set the nation on its road towards re-independence. In more recent years, the grounds have hosted many international acts, such as Metallica, The Rolling Stones, Green Day and many more. As we've been wandering around, we've been trying to learn and pick up new Estonian phrases. Well, I've just been repeating it and driving Craig mad. <laughs> and Kirsty <laughs> has a new one. I just want a coffee. <laughs> Which in Estonian is? Kalen Kazma Sagsin Kovi. Which is, please can I have a coffee? Hopefully the pronunciation is semi understandable. Yeah, I'm sure we may be getting it wrong, but don't tell us off, it's Google. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. It's so cool here in the Tallinn Song Festival grounds. Even when there's not festivals going on, it's just all these sports. Obviously they have the dynamic discs, disc golf that they play here. And look, there's just kids skating around, different clubs and classes going on. It's a great use of the space. They've actually set it up as a drive-in movie venue. So they've set up a big screen there, up on the stage, which is fantastic because obviously cinemas are going to be closed for a while, still using the venue and being responsible in social distancing. disc in the place. I really do. I do too. They're, they're really colourful and pretty. It looks really addictive and it looks like you could spend a lot of money buying a lot of different pretty discs. And there's people <laughs> really who have come in with backpacks on with 
all the different sections yeah. with like 10 different discs in each bag. And, and <laughs> Didn't things, even know how but... to play, but we just were like, oh, it looks fun. <laughs> yeah, but the discs look so cool. We might come back and do that one day. Maybe. But yeah, that was a really nice coffee now, stop. Just the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> There's even a sign here for the disc golf course. The different tees, the different courses, and here it even gives information on the length. The first course is a par four, 155 meters, etc. etc. <laughs> so cool, we're gonna have to get some discs and come back here and play. <laughs> and the stadium leads straight out onto Rasulka Beach, Rasulka Rand. Such a fantastic location. It's beautiful, amazing. We just spotted one of the greens for the disc golf. That is one of the chain nets that you're supposed to aim for with the discs. You throw the disc, it hits those chains and falls in. That's the idea. So far we've been to Kadriori Park, uh, where we've walked around the park, we've seen the gardens and the pond with the fountains and the house, which is the art museum, walked through the gardens and then over to the Japanese garden and then we've been across here to the Tallinn Music Festival grounds and we've been around there and around the surrounding park. Now we're going to head a bit further along the coast uh, to this sort of area before you get to Parita Beach and Park where they have a Soviet monument and an Estonian monument. So we're going to walk along the coast and go and see those now. along this road, it's called Burita T, and it runs all the way along to the, uh, the Soviet and the Estonian monuments. On my left shoulder you can see Tallinn Old Town. Behind us you can see the Estonian Cultural Museum, which is also part of the Estonian and the Soviet monuments. Here at the History Museum as well, we've seen another sign that says they're opening tomorrow. It's fantastic news. Soon we're going to be able to go inside these places. So we've just walked around the back of the History Museum here in Estonia and we found these Soviet monuments which you can see behind me. Interestingly there's a plaque here with a quote from the President of the Republic of Estonia, um, Lennart Meri, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but he says it is dangerous to think that the time of Stalin's and Hitler's has passed. So this outdoor monuments of the Soviet era are basically a nod to the power struggles that have happened here in Estonia over the years. Um, every time that someone gets in power they basically destroy the, the, the former incumbents monuments and build their own. Some of them they stored and that's exactly what we've got here so there's some nods kind of to the past and to the struggles that you can see that have happened here over the years. Just a way of reminding everyone that freedom could be fleeting and making sure that everyone's aware how precious freedom is. So we're going to take a tour around these monuments and get a feel for that. So behind me there's various monuments um, of Vladimir Lenin who was the founder of the Soviet Union. Uh, he had various um, mon monuments put all in different places around the country back when obviously the Soviets were in power and in around 1990 to 1991 the um, Estonians came along and removed them all. The one in the far over there was actually stored in a waste, in a waste site for years um, with plans to melt the bronze down and turn it into a Martin Luther statue but they didn't get funding for that so they decided just to bring it here and make it part of this historical monument area just to remind people of the past and of the struggles over power but as you can see there's lots of the same person Vladimir Lenin and then it carries on round to various other um, members of uh, the Soviet Union who were in power at the time.
also just here next to me, you may recognise him, this is Joseph Stalin, the dictator of the Soviet Union. And this statue actually comes from um, Snelly Park, right near to where we're living, just opposite, opposite the Balti Yam, where we go every day and walk past. So this was originally placed there, and just like the other ones of Vladimir, these, this statue was also moved, stored, and has now been placed here as part of the monuments. called Film Alley and it leads towards the Estonian Film Museum. Pretty cool that they've done a red walkway there. If you look here you can see a retro film. Made it to the Film Museum and the closest I'm gonna get to walking on the red carpet. <laughs> Join us next time when we take you on a tour of Marjame Palace, the Film Museum, and over to the controversial and iconic Marjame Memorial Complex. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you can see when we upload our next video. Tap the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments below. And every five years they have the biggest song festival um, in the world. There's a guy walking along with his uh, discs or in his little backpack and he's doing a little arm warm up like just doing this. <laughs> I feel like I'd get... Prevent that tennis elbow. Yeah, I'd end up with like RSI doing that, I think. But... There's a guy over here even wheeling his discs in and a wheelie it bag. It is golf, it really is. <laughs> he's yeah. a disc caddy. <laughs>